Just a trigger warning, this episode is pretty graphic as it mentions assault and the R and M words, which I cannot say at the start of the video, so beware. In the early 1970s, the alphabet murderers stalked Rochester, New York, killing girls who had the same first and last initial. And these horrific crimes remain unsolved to this day. On the afternoon of her disappearance, Colon's mother sent her to the local drugstore to pick up a prescription. After speaking with the pharmacist, Colon stepped outside to wait for the prescription. Carmen Colon was only a block and a half away from her home, but she never returned to the drugstore or to her house. The Colon family called the police who swept the neighborhood. Two days later, a pair of teenagers on bicycles spotted a body near the Rochester suburb of Chile. The shocking crime was only the first of still unsolved alphabet murders. A series of child murders that occurred between 1971 and 1973 in Rochester. Each victim was a girl aged 10 or 11. Each girl's first name began with the same letter as her surname. And each girl's body was found in or near a town whose name began with the same letter as the girl's name. For over a year, police looked for Carmen Colon's killer, and then the murder of a second girl indicated a possible motive. Wanda Volkovich was 11 years old when her mother sent her to the local supermarket to pick up groceries for dinner on April 2, 1973. After buying $8.52 of groceries, Volkovich vanished. Back then, we knew nothing about what could happen if you walked to the store. Volkovich's sister Rita told the newspaper. A day later, police found Volkovich's body at the bottom of a highway embankment in Webster. The two crimes look strangely similar. Both Volkovich and Colon vanished in the afternoon. Both had been strangled and raped. As fear swept through the Rochester community, police searched for suspects. Reports poured in, including a sighting of Volkovich getting into a brown vehicle shortly after leaving the supermarket. But the alphabet murderer's case remains open. Was a killer in Rochester targeting girls with the same first and last initial? On November 26, 1973, about six months after Wanda Volkovich died, another Rochester girl went missing. 11-year-old Michelle Mainza disappeared as she walked from home from a shopping center. Two days later, police found her body in Macedon. Killings hauntly similar was the headlines of Democrat and Chronicle. Reports once again poured in. A woman reported she had spotted a young girl resembling Mainza outside a fast food restaurant and Mainz's autopsy later on showed that she did eat a hamburger before her death. A man recalled seeing a car stopped on the side of the road with a flat tire. When he stopped to speak to the driver, he saw a girl resembling Mainza sitting in the car. The man driving made it clear he did not want help. The witnesses described the suspect and police put together a sketch. For weeks, police filtered through thousands of calls about the case. The man who killed Wanda Volkovich is responsible for this murder, said a Rochester police officer after Mainz's death. There's a strong possibility that he's also responsible for killing Cameron Colon. There's also a strong possibility that he's responsible for killing Carmen Colon. Police also wrestled with the strange features of the case. All three victims have the same initial for their first and last name, hence the name Alphabet Murders. The bodies were all found in towns of the victim's initials. Was it a coincidence or did the pattern hold the key to solving the case? Who was the alphabet killer? Police investigated multiple suspects, including Carmen Colon's uncle. Horrifically, they turned up multiple rapists and murders in the Rochester area in the process. Firefighter Dennis Termini committed over a dozen rapes in his garage. And when police cornered him, Termini shot himself in the head. Joseph Mazzo spent time in Rochester before a court sent him to death row for killing six women, including four with double initials. But no evidence connects him to the Rochester alphabet murders. Yet, DNA recovered from Volkovich's murder ruled out those potential suspects. Unless... Her murder was committed by a different killer from the others. Serial killer Kenneth Bianchi grew up in Rochester before moving to California, where he became known as the Hillside Strangler. While he remains a suspect, he has repeatedly denied committing the alphabet murders. True crime writer Michael Benson 
who grew up in Rochester, believes that alphabet killings were committed by multiple people. I believe Wanda and Michelle were killed by the same person, but Carmen was different. Subtle differences in the method of killing, as well as one witness's reports of seeing two adults with colon, raises the possibility of a copycat killer. 50 years after they began, the alphabet murders remain unsolved. You have this aura of the initials. Robert Hetzk, a detective working on the case in 2009, told the Democrat and Chronicle. Are they connected? Are they not connected? We don't know that. It's possible that the double initials were coincidence. First and last names having the same initial were a trend when the victims were born. Vague evidence also means possible suspects. In 2022, a TikToker posted that her grandfather might have been behind the alphabet murders. She said he may have had a brown car like the one the killer was suspected to have, and that he owned a grocery store where cats prowled the basement for rats, and white cat hair was found on the clothes of all three victims. Her grandfather also spoke with Wanda Volkovich on the day of her disappearance and offered a reward when she went missing. But with such vague clues, dozens if not hundreds of Rochester area men fit the profile. With many of the original suspects dead, the alphabet murders will likely remain unsolved.